Stormwater is important for lawns, gardens, and wildlife. But an increase in the amount of impervious surfaces such as roofs, streets, parking lots, and sidewalks causes water to travel over these hard surfaces, gathering pollutants along the way, and ultimately flowing into storm drains and out to waterways. We can all do our part to help manage the water that falls on our property by using it wisely, delaying its entry into our local stormwater system, and allowing it to percolate into the soil to recharge the groundwater. This makes the water more readily available to us when we need it helps prevent overflowing the storm systems, and reduces pollutants entering our waterways. Keeping storm water where it falls on your property is where rain barrels come in. What is a rain barrel and how does it work? A rain barrel is a container that is used to collect and store rainwater runoff from rooftops. Rainwater flows from the roof through rain gutters and into the rain barrel. Water is then stored in the rain barrel for use in watering lawns and gardens or even for washing your car. Did you know that as little as one inch of rain on a 1,000 square foot roof can yield as much as 623 gallons of water during the growing season from rain barrels located at multiple downspouts? And water collected in a rain barrel can save most homeowners about 1,300 gallons of water during the hot summer months. Rain barrels provide other benefits too such as helping to reduce basement flooding. Rain barrels installed in an area that drains poorly might help solve drainage problems. Rain barrels also decrease pollutants and stormwater drains that accumulate from surfaces, roofs, sidewalks, parking lots, etc. Computing your needs. To calculate the yield of your roof, multiply the square footage of your roof by 623 and divide by 1,000. Depending on the size of your roof, a 50-gallon rain barrel can fill up when there has been as little as one-tenth inch of rainfall. A wide variety of rain barrels are available for purchase, or you can build your own. After computing your water area, choose the barrel size that best suits your watering needs. A rain barrel for a single-family home can typically hold 50 to 60 gallons of water. To build or buy. Prices differ. Depending on the rain barrel you select, small rain barrels are often recycled from food storage and transport barrels, or in some cases, whiskey and wine aging barrels may be used. A spigot on the side of the rain barrel allows you to fill a watering can or hook up a garden hose. Brass fittings are expensive, but will last longer than plastic, especially for the bottom fitting where you can place a spout if you prefer. Install your rain barrel above ground and allow gravity to help drain the water when needed. For quick and effective draining, submersible pumps can be used. Rain barrels can fill quickly during rain events, so managing overflows are important to managing your system. Linking several rain barrels is a very effective way of capturing more water. If this is not possible, extra water will flow out of the overflow tube and be diverted to a planting bed or storm system downhill and away from your home's foundation. In large storms or if the rain barrel opening is blocked, water may overflow from the top. When installing the barrel, make sure that water is directed away from the house and toward a stormwater system. Use your rain barrel water regularly and between storm events, if stormwater is going to sit for longer than a few days, use a soaker hose to slowly disperse it to your garden, lawn, or shrubs. Water sitting in a rain barrel a long time can become stagnant, making it unsuitable for many uses. Please remember that water captured in a rain barrel is not safe for people or animals to drink. Maintenance. Use and maintenance of rain barrels varies depending on how much water is ultimately collected. To properly maintain your rain barrel, clear rain gutters and rain barrel screens of any leaves, seeds, or bits that might block the water from entering the rain barrel. Rain barrels placed in direct sun can cause algae to grow. Avoid this by emptying rain barrels often. If algae becomes a problem, empty water from the rain barrel and wash it out using three quarter cup of diluted bleach solution to one gallon of water. Mosquitoes are not normally a problem with most rain barrels because a fine mesh screen or lid prevents the adult from getting into the water and laying eggs. Make sure the top is on properly and check inside the barrel. If you do spot mosquito larvae, 
You can use a small amount of cooking oil to coat the surface of the water and suffocate the larvae. The water is still okay for landscape use after this. In the late fall, drain your barrel and store it for the winter. Turn the barrel upside down or move it inside, reconnecting your rain spout for normal use. Rain barrels can crack during the winter if allowed to fill with water during freezing and thawing. Conclusions. Even small amounts of storm water traveling over a large area can have a big impact on watersheds and municipal water treatment facilities. Many treatment facilities, like ours, are often over capacity during large rain events because too much storm water flows into the facilities. Rain barrels not only delay water from entering the watershed, but water reused from a rain barrel also helps to filter pollutants and direct them away from local sewage systems. A rain barrel is easily used by most homeowners, but it is not the only way to help clean up and manage stormwater. See the other videos on topics such as rain gardens. Help save the environment and your budget by installing a rain barrel.